It's the Second World War. Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia were at opposite ends, fighting for the Baltic Sea territory. The German U-boat U-479 was operational in the Baltic Sea and is rumoured to have been on a secret mission. Would it be possible to find the lost boat? Hunt for U-479. But it's not only wars that create shipwrecks. Baltic Sea is a hazardous sea, with extreme weather and shallow waters, thousands of islands and rocky shores, and harsh winters when thick ice covers the northern coastlines. The environmental conditions are also unique. The water is cold and the saline levels too low for most marine species to survive, including corals and the shipworm that everywhere else destroys shipwrecks in no time at all. Baltic Sea is filled with well-preserved wrecks. It's a treasure trove for any diver or archaeologist. This adventure started a long time ago, far, far away. It's winter time. We are in Finland in the suburbs of Helsinki, visiting our old friend, Yari Lintukankari. Yari's an engineer and a diver, interested in the maritime history. And for years, Yari's been thinking about a Second World War collision between a Russian submarine Lembit and a German U-boat U-479 that got lost in the Baltic Sea at the end of the Second World War. Wouldn't it be great to try and find the boat? And wouldn't that make a great documentary film? On the 15th of November 1944, German U-boat U-479 was on a secret mission in the Baltic Sea. After sending its last radio message, it disappeared without a trace. Yari talked about this incident to his old friend Kimo Kusniemi, who is a film director and a musician. Kimo is also Finnish, but he's lived in England for years. 